Hi family. How are you? I hope y'all are doing fantastic. I am well. Thank you all so much for the donations. You all are the best family ever. Thank you. And thank you for watching and for the likes and subscribes. I really appreciate that too. It motivates me to express myself, I guess. So I pulled a few cards on the energy. <clears throat> First card out is the star. This reading is about a star seed. Surprise. <laughs> it's about a star seed, um, somebody that's healed. And <clears throat> I'm hearing somebody that's in the spotlight. This could be in any forum, but there's people watching. And you're marching to the beat of your own drum. You're dancing to your own song. And you're dipping your toe into a new world. A new world of your intuition. And free flow of emotion. There's no fear of emotion. You just let it go. So... <clears throat> As you're doing this, there's people watching you. And these people, they're refusing to shine their own light. <clears throat> and so they're trying to dim yours. Which to me is an odd way to make your light brighter. Um... Anyways, these people are being affected by devil energies. I feel like, um, you know, what I'm hearing is this. We you know what this town needs. This town needs an enema. Like people should quit trying to figure out why other people are inferior to them and just start improving their own life, their own soul, their own trajectory. Because at this point, when you're trying to dim other people's lights, you're disempowering yourself. This is impending disaster. Very important not to fall into the trap <clears throat> of thinking other people need to be less for you to be more. It's quite the opposite. The more people are that are around you, the more you will be. The, the more they shine, the more you shine. That's how this works. Not the less they shine, the more you shine. <laughs> so anyways, <clears throat> this is disempowering these people that are doing this. Um, <clears throat> but only if you don't let their tactics get you upset, especially make you change how you act or what you're doing. Don't let it change your movements. And then rather than disempowering you by with their words, they're disempowering themselves. To me, it's sad to see. I want everybody to do great. <laughs> but everybody doesn't feel that way, unfortunately. There's some weird competition in the air. It's weird. Because in the end, we're all on the same team. 
Um, we may not all be going to the same place, but we all came from the same place. But anyways, bottom of the deck, <clears throat> separation, inverted. <clears throat> These people are triggered by you, but they have a really hard time separating themselves from you. They, they won't stop watching you. And... Uh, providing commentary for what you say or do. Acting like they're better, but the it's so easy to see that they're obviously intimidated by you. <clears throat> or they wouldn't have to front. People that are triggered by authentic people are obviously highly inauthentic. And that's what needs to be tackled. Authenticity, not other people. Yeah, you're not listening. You're not listening to this garbage that these people are trying to gaslight you with. Um, they're a third party. They're a... Ins they're insignificant to your life insignificant to how you think, feel, what you do. And as long as they remain insignificant, <clears throat> they're disempowering themselves every time they attack you. And these people are trying to climb. They're working on climbing up. I guess we all are, right? So, it's very unfortunate <clears throat> that they're doing these things that are just going to disempower them. And hopefully they learn before it's too late. Not enough. Lacking confidence, self-sabotage, ego and fear, frustrations. Everything I was just saying or thinking about. <clears throat> it's all ego. Y'all, ego is not your friend. You have to drop the ego. It has no place here. Take none. What are you going to do with that? It's inauthentic. Your ego has been built up to fit in. It's inauthentic. Talking smack about other people, um, bragging about yourself. It's inauthentic. It's... It's going to drag you down. It's going to pull you back. <clears throat> Inverted wedding rings. <clears throat> it's not going to bring you any kind of 
community. Like real authentic community. You have to be authentic. <clears throat> you're not going to get the results you're looking for by being in competition with others. You literally need to just, this race that we're in is a one man race. You're racing yourself. Other people have nothing to do with it. Literally. They might teach you things. But who's doing better than who is irrelevant. Because all of us have been given different challenges. <clears throat> 18, the moon. I've been seeing A18 a lot. But um these people are trying to cast an illusion that chosen ones like aren't all that. They're faking, lying not really channeling, not really intuitive. <clears throat> so that they can feel better about themselves. It's weak sauce. Sorry to say, but it is. The Empress. The star seeds, the chosen and the chosen ones, the humans that chose themselves, decided to do the work, are starting to create a new world now. <clears throat> All of this ego worshiping stuff is literally like archaic. Especially for people in the spiritual community. In my opinion, it's like old fashioned. It's old news. That was before we healed. Mistakes. It's a mistake not to just be happy with the gifts that you've been given. And be happy for the gifts that your friends have been given. Because y'all can work together in like, we're all puzzle pieces in this huge puzzle. That's why I try to share with you everything I get. And I read the comments and I feed off of things that you guys have gotten that I resonate with. We're all in this together. <clears throat> Vision. Unworthy, inverted, and eagle vision. Star seeds have a worthy vision. Every single one of them. Every single one. In a lot of us are seeing the same thing, which is great because we can confirm it with each other. And all of us have a <clears throat> unique perspective on it. 
we can really grow from each other and build with each other. That it's that time. It's been that time, but whatever. Today I saw a whole bunch of sparrows. They flew in the bush right in front of my window. And two of them, well, actually two of them flew in the bush first. They were arguing. Sparrows speak of community. <laughs> you know? And these two sparrows are arguing. A whole bunch of other sparrows came in. They're all squawking at each other. It's just a mess. This is a community. There are enough enemies in the midst without competition amongst similarly minded people. Unless they're just a straight plant, which is also a possibility, I've figured. I'm covering all the bases of things that it could be. When self-proclaimed starseeds and chosen ones turn vicious. Anyways, I think I'm going to end that here. I will get back to you all very soon. I love you. Thank you.